Voices in Dad's Chest My father sleeps sitting upright on the sofa, exhausted from working two jobs every day. I lean on his arm, rest on his worn-out body. My head gently presses against his chest. I move up and down with his breaths, almost doze from his soft monotony. I'm floating. Tiny waves withdraw from the bright shoreline at Virginia Beach, currents underneath my ocean lounge. I hear a whistle in the deep distance, high-pitched like the gym teacher's blast, wrong place, wrong time. I lift my head from my father's bulk, search for the sound. It's gone. Again, I soak in his warm cotton t-shirt, and the only time he seems docile compliant, float off into adolescence until he coughs, rattles inside his chest, the blow of breath through thumbs beneath his breastbone. It draws me to the middle of his torso, right above his stomach, closer. I press a little harder. His sleeping body does not oppose. I tune into his core. Gurgling crescendos fade as he breathes. Gurgling fades into voices, muffled like secret chatter in the next room. I close my eyes, listen like a mother to his insides. Mucus in a baby's back, my instinct attempts to translate. But as a young daughter, I surrender to the motes of sound that help me doze that shade his body from the inside, hide his cancer from the outside.